Good evening. I call tonight's regular meeting of Jefferson Township Board of Trustees. It's Tuesday, August 3rd, 2021. Time is 7 p.m. We all rise for the Township, not to outreach, but outreach used it. 
but it was given to Jefferson Township by the records at, at the hospital. And uh, at least what they know, because they could not give property to a, a, a non-profit or a public, or they had to give it to a public entity. And that's how the, the fire department went and got them. So the, they were property of the township, but uh, they, they're, they're scant and they're having a tough time finding them. So once we find them, we'll let them use them, or what's? Well, yeah, I hope so. Uh, but they looked everywhere. But while we're talking about yoga, Vicki submitted a question to the trustees for when the buildings, when, we're, when they're scheduled to come back in for this. Is that being clarified? Warren decided, the uh, Agriculture Society books the buildings, so they decide when you come. Okay. So that's not a conscious <coughs> decision. Any other old business trustees? Seeing as there is none, new business. First on the agenda is opening of the engine tanker proposals. Set dates to meet with the vendors. Yes. So trustees, you would uh, ask for an RFP, a request for proposal to be sent out, uh, and the deadline was July 30th at 11 a.m. Uh, two uh, offers or proposals were received. They were sealed. They have not been opened. Uh, the one was received uh, and signed for by the fiscal officer on the 26th of July, 2021. It was made out to Stephen Wolf, but it did not come to Stephen Wolf. It was in Mr. Mann's mailbox. Can I correct that, please? I found it outside of my door. I didn't sign for that. But you put on the box the day I, I put the day, but I did not sign it. Right, but it said Stephen Wolf. It was sitting box, outside of our door. Right, but you didn't get it to me after you got it. So well, could I, I couldn't them. put it under your door. You well, weren't in. I'm, I'm making it for the record. The you were not in the office the during business hours. The assistant prosecutor said to put it on the record. And you weren't in the office happy. during business hours, so get now, that on the record. The, the, uh, certified, the certified letter of paperwork had three lines for it, like, almost like a heart monitor, no signature. But this, the, the RFP strictly said to go to Stephen Wolf. And that's how the package was addressed, and it did not reach you. So when I sent you three gentlemen and legal counsel, the fact that we only had one bid, that's the one that was delivered. I need to retract that email because it's not true. We had it in our building. This should have come to me when you have a legal bid process going. I want to make sure that any future RFPs, this does not happen. It should have been delivered to me in an email or something that says, hey, I got a package. But Steve you are getting an order. I mean, uh, it, it, there's, it's email. There's Did you want me to email. leave it outside the door? Uh, no, but it, it was addressed okay, to me. Then, oh, are, you the of of are you taking the rest of my mail that's addressed to me? I don't see you get all the mail. You get all I don't know, I don't. That's not my responsibility. <laughs> Is there a resolution to do the matter? Is it for my duty to do the mail? No, it is not. That is you guys' responsibility as trustees to make sure somebody gets the mail. Not true. All right, we got that is it. true. Okay, we got you are it. you do not it is not just order. Uh, you order. Slamming that So table. trustees, right. you are not uh, in necessary. equal trouble because of what we've been able to accomplish. Mr. Peterson says they're good to open. There are two bids that were received in the time of the We have contacted the Postal um, uh, General. They are investigating the entire process. So we'll, I'll report back to you what the Postal Company does on the investigation. But for now, you have two bids. They're legally allowed to be open. Would you like them open? Do we have a rep from, what do we got reps from the fire vendor? We have everybody here. Okay. okay, so I'm going to open them in order. Who, who do we have here? Heritage Fire Equipment, something like Brands. Okay. And Rosenbauer, All American Fire. Okay. Thank you. 
Uh, here was something which had to do with this bid. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, gentlemen, do you have any objection to this mail issue uh, opening these bids? Well, he, I, I think, Mr. Wolf, you said you checked the legal counsel and they said they were good and we had delivered. <coughs> so they're more educated about it than myself. I just hand delivered mine is I want to make sure he got it, but well trustees, do you feel comfortable proceeding with everything that's in our possession for this meeting? Yes. Yes. I'm in favor say aye. 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 All right, open them all. Okay. Uh, first box uh, is from Heritage Fire Equipment 2162 Cloverleaf Street. Uh, something scary, but Columbus, Ohio, 43232, uh, and it says receive 7-26-2021 TME, which I would assume is Tracy Edwards. Came by, uh, came by, uh, sort of by mail. I did not get the proposal. <laughs>
labeled original bid and two binders that say copy of the bid. It says technology, innovation, leadership. Down in the right hand corner it says Rosenbauer. So I'll open the original. $629,837. One Rosenbauer pumper uh, complete with Rosenbauer commander chassis per attached specifications. It, it, it was uh, notarized on February 8th. some specifications about changes. Changes will be priced at standard pricing uh, and, and specials will be priced through our normal process. Significant changes made to the vehicle during this time period may result in a delivery extension. Zero to 60 days if we change the chassis. Um, the aerial part uh, doesn't exist. The Rosenbauer body, zero to 60. Um, and there's other requirements as well. Okay, the $629,837 price is, it was based on 100% prepayment at contract signing. Um, and they included some financing available trustees for you to look at. Um, so at this point, that's what your two bids are. Um, I would suggest that you here, schedule a meeting with each one of them so they can show you specifically what their bid stipulates and then make a decision following that. But that's up to you guys and what you want to do. What is the delivery date? Rosenbauer, do you, do you have a comment on what page that might be found? Yeah, it should be on the proposal page with the price. Okay. <clears throat> right around the top. Delivery in calendar days, 455 days upon order. questions for the vendor while they're present here. Okay, do we want to set up dates for uh, the next meeting with them? Okay. I don't know if this is a uh, meeting with all the trustees or if this is just uh, fire staff and the people in the committee that's involved with buying that. No, it'd be a work session. You trustees now are at the level of buying. Okay. It's your decision and not the committee's. I would 
would include the fire chief in your work session with each of the members as well. Because there's, you know, as you guys know, the specification sheet was some 99 pages long, so there's a lot of detail. And when you're spending a half million dollars or more, you have to be very specific about what you trustees decide to buy. So you need to work with these vendors and supply and get all your answers to your questions before I would ever suggest them. Trustees, just given the size of the <coughs> specs, I would recommend we set a date around 30 days out. So that would be a work session sometime in September. You gotta be aware that you only have 45 days on one bid okay. and 30 on the other. So we want to. So it's going to have to be a little up to the next work session. Well, I, I don't think it, it's going to take longer than an hour for you guys to evaluate each of these. It needs to be on a separate day. For heritage, we need to make a meeting to go to Dublin, travel, and then with uh, Rosenbauer we'll decide where we're going to meet with you guys to. Might as well do a visual and a. Looky at the same time. We can arrange for for the committee to come to our facility in Dublin. I'm sorry. We can arrange for you guys to come to our facility in Dublin. Yes. Dublin ain't that far away. I do. I do a plan. <laughs> and to be, to be fair and equal, are you available at your Washington courthouse location? Yeah, we can. We can either meet there or we can go at a location. We have like. Um, Corey said we have trucks all throughout the area, so if you'd like to meet at a station where we have a truck in service, that's fine. Um, we can do that too. Whatever you guys work out. Okay. What, do you, what, do you, what do you think is best, guys? I mean, what? Well, there's a truck in service not 30 minutes from here that's uh, similar to what you guys are looking at. Okay. So if you want to go that route, I can arrange that. Be more than welcome. And we could hit a couple trucks coming and going, but this truck here is particularly close to what you're looking at. It's within about 30 minutes. Uh, okay, so why don't we do two Fridays in a row? I can't do both the same day. I don't have time today. But uh, one on the uh, 13th and one on the 20th, uh, late Friday afternoon. So, I mean, we, we, we don't have, as I said, we have 30 days or 45 days, whatever the time was. Um, I think the, the, the township gave us these funds several years ago. We need to move. I have previous commitments on the 13th, but I can do the 20th. Okay, so, um, are the two other trustees available? It was Friday afternoon, so you guys don't work to get me. I can make the day. I can make the days. Okay. I'm good. Okay, so, you, so Rosenbauer uh, is saying they're not good on the 13th. Okay, um, Heritage, what about, could we set something with you on the 13th that afternoon? Yes, sir. That's fine. In your opinion, guys, um, how much time do you think we ought to allow? To, uh, allow, sorry, allow, allow for a, you know, you're, you're giving us a presentation and we do that and have questions. How much time do you think we should suffice for that? Uh, with a presentation and reviewing the specs that we've submitted, it's going to take several hours. I, I, I was going to start at two. Yeah. No less than that, probably. Uh, meet at the location. So you send us the location. Yes. Right. You will email us at location. Sure. And uh, you can give us you know, the senior street address. I presume that's in there. Yes. Uh, two o'clock, both of them? Uh, yes. Guys? Two o'clock Friday afternoon? Uh, yes, sir. Sounds great. Right. I'm looking forward to it, both of you. We need to get this done. You guys good with that, Tim? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that concludes new business on the fire trucks. Just these, any other new business.
we've had discussions on that All-American Rescue Plan. Um, I'd like to make a motion. We need to talk about what we're going to do with that. We want to make a motion to proceed and get that money, take that money that's been given out. I know we had passed a resolution to already have somebody manage that money for us, which you know, I don't know why. I think we can do that ourselves. We don't need to give that. Let's give the money away. But so the government's giving away money. We need to do the paperwork. To see, just have a vote here, yay or nay. We want to proceed on and accepting the money that's been given to us by the feds. And that bears the rescue plan. Press. Is there a resolution for that? No, we just need a motion. To accept the, what, what are we accepting? You have to apply for the money. So that before you can manage it, you've got to apply for it. So, uh, so you need to put an application to it. So all you need to get approval from you guys to put an application. So, so that's something the grant writer, I'd like to have more information on it before I vote. Okay, um, you have till September 4th. And so do we got an email or who's It's just the, um, I know at the last meeting, um, you guys passed a resolution for a grant writer to manage the money for the ARC, for the American Rescue Plan Act. But you can't manage the money you don't have. You haven't applied for the, the um, money yet. So you gotta do an application. So the grant writer's gonna submit the application on your behalf, correct? What you hired them to do. Okay. And why are we spending, why, why are we paying somebody to do something we can do ourselves? I don't understand. I know it's big bad. reason, so it's done right. It's something hard to do, and so the government's already said they will help us do it. Well, okay, uh, I just, other I'm Other townships gonna... are doing it themselves. Well, well this my... is Jefferson Township. <laughs> Well, and, and, yeah, okay. Jefferson Township. No, we just got done. We can't even handle getting the mail received, so oh, we'll have a well, great one, one thing we're going to have a problem is if, we, if you guys don't know when that grant writer applies, you're going to have to pay the grant They need to do it before September 4th, because if you don't accept it, then you won't have another chance. So that's, that's what I have to say. So, Steve, can you give us the status on where the money is, the application for the money? You made a statement to the trustees at the last meeting that you weren't giving up any of the paperwork that you've had for both both yeah. programs. Mm -hmm. The trustees, they're waiting on that paperwork. And I also understand from communication I've had with other parties that so other party. we're going to give a percentage of a hunk of change, and it, we're talking about thousands of dollars uh, to manage this for a grant writer to manage this money we're giving, but the government's giving us free. You're going to pay somebody else thousands of dollars to manage that money when other townships are doing it themselves, number one. Number two, that money that we're spending to do that cannot come out of it. So we're going to give you a couple hundred thousand dollars. You can't use that money to pay for the grant writer to take that. So that's going to come out of the general fund or our taxpayers' dollars have got to be used to manage this money. We do it ourselves. We need to do it ourselves. Mr. McLaughlin, you're debating a resolution of this argument. I know. That's, that's true. Okay, so. That's true. But there's nothing in that resolution that says anything about applying for the money. It just says managing the money that you don't have. I'm well, are you going to give up the paperwork? There's for nothing for me to give up. You got to fill out an application. You have to give approval so who's holding to fill the out an application. I guess the grant writer is because I'm not holding the anything. The grant does not have anything since you hired them. They have to have what's been sent to the statute. Nothing's been sent to me. So you have nothing about ARP? No, I have what I went to training for, but you guys are giving it to the grant writer, so that's what I have. The training that I took that I know that we have to fill out application. They also are waiting on the money from the CARES Act. They're not the money, but they're waiting on all the time. CARES Act is all CARES Act, Act is, is done. All done. That was 2020 money. It's all done except for okay. the, the mess up at Station 59, which we, we've had several discussions about. It's not done. 
Yes, it does. It does. It does. Everything's done but 59. But the vote that you guys took hired for both. So you have to be aware you passed the resolution that hired for both. And you cannot debate it. Okay, and so on the on the uh, COVID money, what all is left to be taken care of? Uh, the unspent balance. In, in regards to? You trustees finding out what you're doing with okay, state. You're not answering the question. So the answer to the answer you question. You asked me the answer, question what? And I explained what? that the, the amount of money unspent was dedicated for state 59 that you have not been 